Good morning. Welcome to Physics World. Today we discuss about chapter 6 what is inside the atom. This chapter takes you to the modern physics. It makes you to understand that what is substance, what is atom, what are inside the atom and how they behave. Long long ago many scientists and physicists were curious to know about the same thing, the questions. What is substance? What is atom? How the substance is formed? What is inside the atom? Whether atom is divisible or indivisible? So many theories were came. At last, one fine day, one bold physicist named Boltzmann organized a big public meeting where many scientists and physicists came to listen his lecture. He told that atom is divisible. Don't think that atom is the only smallest part existing in the world. You can divide the atom. Inside the atom something is existing. But everyone laughed at him. Because that was the age, everyone believing that atom is indivisible. They not only loved at him, they criticized him. Then this person disappointed so much and the same day he hanged by himself. It was a great tragedy in physics history. But later, in few years later, there was a young scientist who was also a great physicist in the world. He published a research paper and in that research paper he written that atom can be indivisible. Something there in the atom. Then the research work started. Then, student, then scientists were trying to find out whether atom is divisible or indivisible. And you know who is that young physicist? He is none other than Einstein who published a research paper at the age of 26. Now if you see the another dimension of the history, there was a scientist called Dalton. In his theory, Dalton theory, he proposed that atom, atom is neutral. And atom is indivisible. But later, another scientist called Faraday, Michael Faraday, another great physicist in the world, he did a reaction called electrolysis. In that reaction, he told that there is a there is a negative charge flow in those electrolysis. And that negative charge is accumulated on the atom. Then his statement is contradicting the Dalton's theory. Because Dalton told that atom is neutral. But Faraday is saying that atom is accumulated by, accumulated by a negative charge. Then the scientist was started thinking that there may be something in the atom. And because of that that negative charge accumulated even though atom is neutral. Then the research works have happened and at last they got to the point that yes atom is divisible. From that moment onwards we understand about what is subatomic particles inside the atom. Then we understand that atom can be divisible and inside the atom many particles are there. So in the starting of the modern physics they declared, discovered that if this is the atom then inside the atom there is very very small positive content matter is existing and this very very small positive content is called and think you are able to see this positive dot is called nucleus and inside the nucleus you have two particles 
one is proton and other one is neutron and around the nucleus in the orbits negative charged particles are rotating around the nucleus and that negative charged particle is called electron so like that they have found three types of particles electron proton neutron electron around the nucleus proton neutron inside the nucleus that's why proton neutron are also called are also called nucleons nucleons means particles inside the nucleus now coming to electron electron is having negative charge whose mass is very very less in the universe and the mass is 9.1 into 10 to the power of minus 31 kg and that's why it is called elementary particle elementary particle that means you can't divide electron electron is the is the least coming to proton proton is having positive charge proton mass is heavier than electrons mass and its mass value is 1.67 into 10 to the power of minus 27 kg and coming to neutron neutron is chargeless remember it doesn't have any charge it's chargeless and its mass is approximately equal to protons mass which is 1.67 into 10 to the power of minus 27 kg and later they also understand that atom is neutral according to dalton's theory yes atom is neutral because atom is having equal number of electrons see e minus symbol is for electron equal number of electrons and equal number of protons e plus that means how much of negative charge you have you have the equal amount of positive charge that's the total amount of charge is zero our human body is also neutral that's why we didn't get we didn't feel any electric shock how many atoms my body is having each and every atom is neutral because each and every atom is having equal number of negative charge and equal amount of positive charge so total amount of charge is zero now if you compare the electron and proton masses with the experiment they found that mass of the proton mp mass of the proton is equals to 2000 times of mass of electron See how much big the mass of the proton is. So coming to mass of the proton, electron mass is negligible. Even though it, it, you see this number is very big number, a feeling that it's not a big number. It's very, very small compared to mass of the proton. That's why as the mass of the proton is 2000 times greater than mass of the electron, proton mass is greater. That means nucleus mass is greater. That's a atomic mass is actually concentrating at the center point small point the point is very very small the size is very very small nucleus size is very very small but inside the nucleus the mass is so much that's the nucleus is dense to dense material inside the atom 